All right, we are back to do another sparring breakdown video. This time it's between one of my blue belts, Aaron Darko, versus one of my brown belts, Luke Howard. Luke is a brown belt in jiu-jitsu, also black belt in judo, lots of MMA experience. Aaron's been training for about uh, 18 months. Let these guys get started a little bit. Seeing Aaron going right away, starting to look for some passing. Seeing these guys come out a little slow, just kind of getting started here. Aaron trying to turn the corner, a little switch in his pass. Luke looking to get some control on his arm. Starts setting up a little omoplata. And Aaron starts ducking under to the other side. Aaron doing a good job keeping top position here, kind of working some of the drills we did today in class. We'll have some other YouTube videos up about that soon. And Aaron looking for an armbar. Luke doing a good job framing. Sprawling out on top. Aaron doing a good job keeping some top position here as he looks to take the back. Luke do, doing a good job escaping, using that cross post, covering his guard with single leg X. And looking to transition into more of an X guard, Aaron manages to kind of fall to his back. Luke starts making his way into sight control. Aaron doing a good job bridging here, coming up for the underhook, but Luke steps over and moves into the mount. Aaron doing a good job framing on the hips here. Luke doing a good job floating on top. Luke switches his hips and starts working from three quarters mount. He's just looking on the guillotine. Luke's trying to free his foot and switches to an anaconda. You can see him walk his fingers in to get a little deeper here. Looking to trap that top or bottom leg. As he starts moving in, Aaron doing a good job walking away here. And manages to get the tap. So it was a nice little scramble we had there at the end. Let's go back just a little bit. Okay, so from the mount, Aaron manages to get it to that three quarters mount. And when that kind of happened, is that what it did is it gave Luke space to start looking on this guillotine. You can see Luke already having his hands locked. All he's really looking to do now is free this top leg. So this, this foot was still kind of trapped inside. He can use his top leg here to kind of push to create the space he needs to start freeing that foot. Now he can kind of start looking to roll his way out. And as he rolls out, Luke does a good job falling to his left shoulder where he can start walking Anaconda. So there's the anaconda lock happening here. You can see Luke doing a good job here, locking his hands together, creating the angle he needs for the anaconda. What Luke wants to do is start driving this arm down into Aaron's shoulder through his shoulder girdle. He'll start to get the, the pressure he needs to get the choke going. And you can see Luke walking his hand in deeper there. The deeper that hand goes, the, the tighter the lock's gonna be and start driving more through his shoulder and Luke manages to walk back in towards Aaron. You see him using that top leg to kind of pin that leg down. Just kind of keeps walking and applying pressure until he manages to get the choke. It's a nice little opening scramble from these guys. You can see they're being real playful today. We've got the injured corner on the left. Got a bunch of guys out with injuries right now. Name of the game in jiu-jitsu sometimes. So we see these guys starting again. And Aaron trying to force his way in and manages to get swept again. So let's go back just a little bit here. So like Aaron's making like a really common mistake you see in a lot of blue belts. Like anytime they get elevated, they don't really make an active effort to post. And you can see even like as Aaron's falling here, like he has space to be posting, but he's just not ready. He's not actively seeking it out. He's not like fighting for that top position. So as this sweep kind of comes, because all he was trying to do was post with that left hand, it's really easy for Luke to make his way on top. 
and you see him kind of accept the sweep there. So I'd like to see Aaron make more of an effort to turn his hips over as he's falling. So again, as we come here, like Luke has a good, good grip here, but I still feel like Aaron should still have the mobility to be able to bring this hand out and post a bit wider and then also be rotating his hips. So his back leg, this leg here, needs to arc all the way around, all the way around, and that'll help him post his foot on the mat as Luke is trying to sweep. And that's gonna give him a chance to rebound and get back on top. But that comes with experience. Uh, from here, you can see Luke hitting a really nice X pass. Uh, just did a really good job of going from a sweep right into a long range pass, and then moving his way into neon belly. So we see these guys still moving. Aaron looking on the single. Gets shut down a little bit and Luke ends up on his back. It's gonna look like he might switch over to the mount, but he kind of concedes and let Aaron move into top position. See Aaron trying to actively open the guard here. Luke starts moving in that K guard position we've been training. Trying to attack the knee. Aaron doing a good job staying on top. Aaron back steps, ends up on his back, and right into the knee bar. So Luke is just doing a good job of uh, playing with some awareness there. Like uh, Aaron making a tac tactical layer here, back step in, which kind of landed him right into the knee bar. And you can see that Luke doing a good job controlling the knee line here already. So all he's got to really do now is straighten the leg out. So it didn't take too much. But Aaron doing the right thing, tapping early, especially in a position he doesn't know that well. That's just kind of the way it goes sometimes, especially when you're rolling with someone with more experience. So yeah, some nice scrambles from these guys. So again, Luke just being nice, kind of letting Aaron initiate his passing. Luke looking for compression armbar again. Luke posting wide, trying to stay on top. Aaron doing a good job sitting into the half guard. There's a better example of some good basing and posting from Aaron. Aaron doing a better job staying on top now. Getting ready to cast his body out and catch himself. And Luke manages to get a sweep. These guys find the one post in the room. Manage to get stuck to it. Aaron doing a good job using the wall to stay on top. I imagine Luke had no idea that he was pushing him into the wall there. It must have been a bit confusing. This guy's moving the side control. Little Von Flute choke from Luke here. Aaron manages to let go with his hand though, and they start moving into the mount. Arm triangle. And Luke manages to pick up the arm triangle real nice there, so you kind of look at that kind of the scramble at the end. You see him go from the guillotine counter, which is the Von Flu choke. This is actually a choke that you can do using your opponent's guillotine grip. So Luke what Luke wants to do is make sure this hand stays cut off and he's driving his shoulder down and when people hold on to the guillotine here it actually will choke them so Aaron actually makes the right move by removing his hand but as he does that he made a tactical error of leaving his arm out to the side so now Luke all he has to do is drive his head down to the floor or in this case on this beam in the middle of the room and it'll make it easy for him to transition to the arm triangle so now as we turn the corner here, we'll see Luke doing a good job staying on top of the arm triangle and he manages to get the angle he needs to get the finish. So 
see how we see these guys start again. Aaron trying to initiate with that knee cut pass again. He's doing a good job pummeling that left hand in, kind of keeping some space with that left shin. And he manages to sweep Aaron again and move the top position. Again, this is like kind of classic blue belt mistakes. Like the only thing that is making Luke get, uh, or Aaron get swept here is his own positioning. You see, does Luke manage to overhook there? Let's see one more time. Kind of work his way in. So yeah, Luke does a really good job here actually. Using the butterfly sweep. So yeah, actually this was quite good. Um, Luke just did a great job of blocking Aaron's elbow here, which allowed him to get swept and move on top. So that really wasn't any bad mistakes on Aaron's part. That was just a good sweep from Luke. Luke starts moving his way up into the mount. Doing a good job riding the hips here. See Luke pummeling. And then again, getting back on the neck. Really strong position for Luke. See him trying to switch. Some nice hand fighting here. Just doing a good job of staying on top, really crowding Aaron here, making it hard for him to move. Popping up the knee on belly again, kind of exposing the back. Aaron decides to stay flat, starts trying to lift the turn in. And Luke reverses again with the guillotine position. Again, doing a good job controlling with that. Front headlock side control position here. And Aaron manage, or Luke manages to pick up an arm. And you see Luke, uh, Aaron tap there at the end. So yeah, just like maybe a little bit of fatigue here at the end. See a nice little scramble here. So it's pretty much after this. You see Luke's circle here. So right here, you see Luke double up on Aaron's wrist and just pull. So that's all he had to do. He had to get that pull up. And that got Aaron to start facing away. And he just dropped that knee on the knee on belly. And from here, it's just pretty, pretty textbook standard arm bar. Luke falls forward, drops that body weight on him, and gets the tap. So yeah, it looks like Luke got the upper hand today. Nice little roll between these two guys. If you guys had questions about any of the techniques you saw in this video, feel free to leave in the comments. If you like these videos and you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Now, thank you all for watching.